In this video, we will show you how you can use a stream node to quickly convert your materials to use granite. The stream node takes texture objects as input, which will be baked into granite. The stream node will output color values according to your layer setup. We'll convert a small scene to demonstrate how easily stream node and granite integrate into existing scenes. We'll begin by setting up a template layer layout. Most materials in this scene use a combination of albedo, normal, mask and emissive textures. As such, I'm naming each of the four layers and selecting their color formats. Because the stream node takes care of the material instances, we only need to convert the master materials to enable granite texture streaming. If your materials make use of texture sample parameter nodes, you'll need to convert them to texture parameter nodes. Granite will take care of the sampling for you. Make sure to keep the same texture parameter names, otherwise your existing material instances won't work anymore. Place a granite stream node and hook up the UV input. In the node properties, select the layer layout template we just created. Make sure to set the sampling mode to repeat if you intend to use this as a tiling material. Hook up the texture object parameters to the corresponding stream node inputs. The granite stream node will output float vectors corresponding to the layer layout. Replace the non-granite texture sample parameters with the stream node outputs. Right now, you will still see a non-granite preview in the viewport. Press Bake plus Instances to have granite convert all the material instances for streaming. Enter granitesdk.drawdebugtiles1 in the console to see which textures are using granite. The color and the size of the squares indicates what MIP level is currently being streamed. A material not using granite, or textures that haven't been baked, will not show the overlay. I'll skip over the second material, considering it's nearly identical to the first. The third material uses a slightly different layout, where the emissive map sits in the alpha channel of the mask's texture. You can either create a new layout template in the project settings, as we did before, or create a custom layout in the stream node settings. After changing the layout, I'm again hooking up the node outputs to the rest of the material. We can bake multiple materials at once by pressing Bake Materials from the drop-down build menu. Here I'm changing the texture used by one of the materials. You can see that it's not being streamed anymore. You don't need to rebake after every material change. Granite will use the standard textures as a fallback until you decide to rebake your materials again. Keep in mind that not all materials work well with granite. For example, decals don't work, and translucent or transparent materials are usually not worth it because sampling is too expensive. Alpha masking is fine, however. Skyboxes or objects constantly in view don't benefit much from streaming. You should now be able to efficiently convert your scenes for granite.